Hey guys, I'm Pete the Duck, and welcome to Forge with Pete. Today we're going to be playing Flaming Ninja Challenge Freestyle 2. This is another challenge map designed for one player. The goal is to destroy all 10 fusion coils as fast as you can. So let's get started. Action sack. You can see that the fusion coils are marked with waypoints. And you might also notice that this map is non-linear. You can destroy the fusion coils in whatever sequence you think is fastest. All you need to do to destroy a fusion coil is shoot it. And you can see that you'll score a point shortly after shooting a fusion coil. Once you score 10 points, the game ends. The map itself isn't necessarily that dangerous, but the challenge comes from trying to be as fast as you can. You can see some fusion coils will be easy to destroy, but some will be much more difficult. I've also placed a par time of 3 minutes on this map, so see if you can beat that. But before you go, let's check out this map in Forge mode. Alright, here we are in Forge, and this map was built with the Halo Ball game type. If we open up one of these structures, you'll see that it has a really simple mechanism. We have a fusion coil that is actually a ball spawn location. It also never respawns. During the game, a golf ball is going to spawn on top of the fusion coil just like this. And when you shoot the fusion coil, the explosion will throw the golf ball up into the air. And up in the air, we have a halo ball goal that's going to catch that golf ball and score a point for the player. Normally, the golf ball would then respawn once that happens, but because the fusion coil was the ball spawn location, the golf ball is never going to respawn because the fusion coil has been destroyed. And that forces the player to destroy all 10 fusion coils on the map instead of just destroying the same fusion coil 10 times in a row. For some of these mechanisms, there's something actually blocking them from above, preventing the golf ball from reaching the halo ball goal that we put in the sky. For these, I created a separate halo ball goal that bisects the structure and scores that particular golf ball. I also quadrupled each of these halo ball goals so that there'd be one for each team, red, blue, green, and orange. This is so that the map will work no matter what team the player chooses. The last thing I need to show you is underneath the map we have our kill zone. This kills any players that fall off the map, but it also resets any golf balls that happen to spawn outside of their structure. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this challenge map. You can download it by doing a new custom search in Halo Reach using the gamertag Forge with Pete. Or for some of my older maps, use the gamertag Pete the Duck. Thanks for watching. <laughs>